Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're looking at blues in the style of Stevie Ray Vaughan. So today I'm going to do a tutorial on the piece we just listened to, so it should be a lot of fun. Now this is taken from my blues worksheet pack. So if you want to get more into blues, I've got 12 little mini songs like this, uh, right from beginner, I've never played blues before, all the way up to this kind of stuff. So if you want to get into blues, understand what the 12 bar is and how it works and all that kind of stuff, feel free to grab that on the link above. If you want a paper copy of this tutorial, that'll be available to my patrons. Other than that, the tab will be on the screen. Now, of course, to try to emulate SRV style is quite the task. You just look at one or two bars of his playing and you realize how much he's doing. He's, you know, playing up here with his pick, then down by the bridge, then he uses his thumb or fingers. You know, he'll play a chord down here and then all the way up there. And he's constantly moving and playing with different, you know, pick attacks and stuff. There's just so much packed into his playing, just over one or two measures that it's quite daunting. So we'll talk about some of that stuff at the end of the video and maybe some amp settings to get your tone, you know, maybe close to what he's playing. But for now, let's just look at the basics of this little 12 bar song and jump in. All right, you guys, let's check out the first line. Now, it's just the same thing twice, which makes it very easy for us. So what we're gonna do is start on seventh fret, which is a B, and then we'll go D, E, which is five, seven, and then low E. Okay, so we'll hit each one twice. Sounds like this. Don't worry about the articulation. We'll talk about like digging in and playing like SRV. Like I said, um, towards the end, let's just kind of learn some of the notes. So here we go. Okay, so just eighth notes to a quarter. Really great. Then what we're gonna do is the Hendrix chord. Okay, so this is a seven sharp nine. So what we're gonna do, this is gonna be built on an E, so seventh fret. And here what we're gonna do is we're gonna build a seventh chord. Very common in blues. So we have root, third, flat seven. Really common movement. And then what we're gonna do with our pinky finger is add the sharp nine. It's a chord with so much color and interest. Okay, so if you don't know it, I would suggest just take your hand totally away, build it, take it away, build it, take it away, build it, just to get it in the muscle memory so you're always kind of like going or, or play like a G chord and then go to the seven sharp nine and then an A chord and then seven sharp nine or whatever chords you're comfortable with. Just so you're playing something and then your hand is forced to build it, that's the best way to kind of get it in your muscle memory. But, you know, also practicing this song will help because we play it a ton. Now, the rhythm for that is a little tricky. It's very syncopated, but it sounds like this. Okay, and we've got two muted notes in there. And that's where you just relax your hand. So this left hand, even though it's building that shape, my middle finger is touching the sixth string, my pinky is touching the first. So all the, finger, all the strings are um, muted by the fingers. And again, that's a really important, uh, you know, kind of stylistic note to play SRV. All these little, you know, <laughs> muted notes. But anyway, so what we're gonna do is play the chord and then two muted notes and then we'll play the chord again. Okay, so hopefully that makes sense to you guys as you look at the music. Okay, so first measure, here we go. Actually, you know what, let's do the whole line because it's all the same stuff. So here we go. Okay, and you can do the SRV wiggle. He does this all the time too when he hits a chord. He'll just like kind of like get the vibrato by taking the whole neck and shaking it. And that really gives some interest to the chord. Obviously, you need to be comfortable building that before you try it, but it is kind of fun. So, you know, he, he uses that technique a lot. Okay, so let's go on to the second line. Now here we've got some 16th notes. <laughs> 
Then instead of going to, you know, that low E, we're going to a low A, fifth string open. Okay? Awesome. Then what we're going to do is build an A7 chord. So I'm just going to shift over here a little bit for you guys. Now here we've got basically an A chord, but what we're going to do is take your index finger and mute, no, sorry, mute, bar all those notes, and then take your ring finger and play that high G, which is the seventh. So we're playing an A7 chord. Just like that. And then what we're going to do is take that same shape, bump it up an octave. That's another classic Stevie thing where he'll play a chord, then he'll jump up and play a different, you know, version of that chord higher up. So. Okay, so let's try that measure. A little tricky. So you, again, you might want to just pause the video and isolate that section. It's super fun to play, but just getting the accuracy of jumping that octave, that's, you know, challenging when you're, you know, first learning the blues or whatever. So very fun, but you might want to just pause and, and yeah, practice that a few times. And then we're back to the good old intro. Okay, so let's play that whole second line. Um, let's slow it down. Now, moving on to the third line, this is obviously, you know, we've done eight bars. So this third line is kind of like the final four bars of our 12 bar blues. So this is going to be the turnaround. If you guys know the blues, uh, yeah, once we hit that part, it is turnaround time. So what we're going to do is use a B7. Obviously, we're in the key of A, uh, E. So there's your E, then A. Then we're going to do the turnaround. And we're hitting that B note, which is second fret on your A string. And we're going to build a B7 chord. So roughly like this. Okay, so we'll go. Then we build our B7. Okay, so kind of tricky there. Let's not do the run quite yet. Let's just practice those first kind of two measures. So let's do that again. And it's pretty important that you end up on that B with your middle finger. So, so that you can build again that seventh shape. And then middle finger. Now we come to the run. Now this is taken basically straight from uh, the SRV song, uh, Mary Had a Little Lamb. So listen to that if you really want to hear it, um, you know, up to speed and sounding awesome, but that's wh where this is from. So now for the run, <laughs> here we go. I'm going to just come a little closer to the camera here. So what we're going to do is we're going to start sliding into a G, just like that. And then we're going to go open E, and then we'll go D, B, and then we're going to take your middle finger, slide up from two to four, just like that. And then we have a pull off. Okay, I'll play that a few more times here. So again, definitely you might want to pause and uh, <laughs> do this or or print off a copy so that you can practice along with, you know, a paper copy in front of you. But anyway, let's do that a couple more times. Just we'll start real slow and then build up some speed. Go a little faster. A little faster yet. And then maybe more up to speed. All right, so now what we're going to do is play the whole song, 
nice and slow without stopping. Here we go and let's try it out right from the beginning. Let's start. So now let's talk about articulation and then we'll talk a little bit about amp settings so that you know you can sort of get a ballpark SRV tone. Sort of like that low gain blues tone. So anyway, let's start with articulation. Now when you're playing this song, it really sounds best when you're digging in and you're kind of muting all your strings, but you're just hitting one note. And that's the tricky part. You know, I'm playing that B but I'm strumming all six strings. And that's sort of an advanced muting technique. Um, a little bit tricky, but as you can see, my fingers are behind the note. So these guys are doing the muting and I'm playing with this one and I'm just going like. And that's part of the trick of, you know, getting that SRV tone is being able to dig in super hard. Now he usually plays half step down, which also changes the key, which also changes the tone of, you know, the notes so that's part of srv's tone as well i wanted to stay in standard tuning so that we could just play together but yeah if you tune down half a step you go into a different key and every key in music has its own unique tone which is you know sort of an interesting thing but anyway for now we're staying in standard in e so yes neck pickup on your guitar you can go to position four and it sounds great too <laughs> classic kind of tone or neck pickup. I would say probably for this style, stick to one of those two uh, settings on your Strat. So that's one of the, the keys is just being able to play all six strings while playing one note. And then when you hit your chord and Stevie was so good at, you know, <laughs> one time playing it like sustained, the other time like staccato, and then the next time, you know, vibrato. So like I said, off the top of the video, he's always changing up how he's playing in terms of their articulation, which is daunting. But for now, I would say just stick to, you know, one or two of these techniques. First of all, digging into all the six strings while muting and doing full strums, because it does sound very different then. which has, you know, its own unique great tone, but if you really want getting a really aggressive strum is key. Now, as for SRV's iconic tone, first of all, you're going to need a guitar with single coil pickups, whether it's a Strat or not. That's key. Secondly, on your amp settings, you're going to want your bass up, your mids cut, your treble up, and your presence up. And then he often played with some verb as well. So that'll get you kind of close. Make sure you got lots of bass, not very many mids, and lots of treble. The other thing is keep your overdrive low. I know it's, a t it's so tempting to kind of add some extra overdrive. And his, his rhythm tones, which we were kind of doing today, is different than his lead tone. His lead tone did have a little bit more sustain and gain, but for his rhythm tone where he's, you know, he's playing chords and then he puts in a lick and then he plays, you know, another chord and then a chord up high and he's jumping around. When he's using that kind of rhythm tone, um, not a lot of overdrive. So keep it minimum, even though it's so easy just to add some extra. So yeah, single coils, amp settings, low gain. And then if you really want that SRV tone, put an overdrive pedal before your amp. Now, if you don't have an overdrive pedal, like I was just recording straight into my amp, but take a tube screamer or some other low gain, you know, pedal, take the gain way down, put the volume way up. And that's how he got some of that overdrive and sustain is just taking, you know, that tube screamer and then punching the front end of his amp with it to really drive it hard. So if you don't have a pedal, don't worry, just stick to some of the the basic you know amp settings i gave you guys and you can tweak it from there because every amp has its own voicing and and uh you know eq settings and stuff like that so anyway hopefully that helps 
So if you guys enjoyed this lesson, but maybe you want to start somewhere, you know, more simple and work your way step by step up, grab that blues pack. That's what it does. Starts off really simple and then gets to more intermediate kind of stuff. So feel free to check that one out. Other than that, hope you guys enjoyed this lesson. If there's any other lessons you guys would love to see on the channel, let me know in the video description below. Other than that, have yourself a great day.